Welcome to your practice. My name is Sophie and today we are doing a deep stretch slow flow. If you happen to have blocks at home or wherever you're practicing, then have them nearby because they could come in handy, but I will show you everything without props and without blocks. We're going to get started in a prone position. So you're laying down on your belly and you're going to rest your head, your forehead on your hands. So let's come on down to the mat. Put your forehead down on your hands and just relax your legs. So your heels might drop out to the sides or they might drop in wherever your legs naturally splay out. Let them go. Relax the hips. Relax the belly and the lower back. Relax the shoulders. Let your hands hold the weight of your head. Let the earth hold the weight of your hands and your whole body. Let your, your breath flow in and out naturally. And as you breathe in, you can feel your belly expanding and pressing into the earth. And as you exhale, it's as if you're deflating and letting go. In and out of your nose. Continue to breathe. Any stress, tension, anxiety that you're holding on to, just give it to the earth. The earth can handle it. The earth can take it. Every time you exhale, give it away. And ask yourself, what do I need? What do I need right now? Begin to lift your head up. Plant your right hand flat, kind of underneath your shoulder. And slide your left arm underneath your right arm like you're threading the needle. Have your left palm face up. Slide your right knee up like you're, kind of like how you lay in bed at night. Just pull the knee up. Take your right arm up and open to the sky and all the way to the right. So you're in a supine twist now. We just came into it from a prone position. Put your left hand on top of your right knee to anchor it down, and maybe you lift your chest and twist a little bit more to the right. Bend your right elbow so your arm is in a half cactus. Flex your left foot and straighten your left leg. And relax the muscles along the sides of your neck. Now we'll slowly take the right arm back over on top of the left. So like pancake the hands so the arms are straight up. Rest your head down on the ground. Take a breath in and out. And extend your right leg back. Come back onto your belly, but keep your left arm where it is. Now weave your right arm over top of your left arm. Crisscross your arms for a bow tie shape. And your belly faces down now and put your chin on top of your right arm. So you're resting your chin down. Relax the legs, relax the hips, just like we did in the very beginning. And continue to slide your hands apart from each other. So we're stretching the muscles on the front of the shoulders, the deltoid muscles. Let your breath be your main point of focus. Now let's unwind the arms, plant the left hand down, and sweep the right arm under the left for, to thread the needle to the left. 
and start to slide your left knee up. And then open your left arm up, your chest faces up to the ceiling now, and over to the left, just like we did on the other side. Right hand on top of left knee, left arm into a half cactus. And just for today, flex your right foot and straighten your right leg. Just notice what it feels like to have the engagement of the lower body, but we're working to ease and relax the upper body. Less effort in the upper body, a little bit more effort in the lower body to keep us stable. Take one more breath. And take your left arm back around. Bring the hands together with your arms straight out to the side. Extend your left leg. Sorry, keep your left knee where it is. We took a breath or two here on the other side, so let's keep it even. Take a breath in and breath out. Now extend your left leg back. Keep your right arm extended to, extended to the left and take your left arm across and over to the right to create the bow tie. Shape your palms face down and you spread your fingers as far apart as you can as you rest your chin over top of your arms. Relax your hips. Relax your glute muscles. And unwind your arms, bring your hands under your shoulders, and then slide your hands out wider and come up onto your fingertips. Then lift your chest up for a nice big cobra. Roll the shoulders back and down. Go as high as it's comfortable for your back. Inhale. Exhale, come back down. And we'll do it again. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. One more time. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Plant your hands underneath your shoulders. Press up into tabletop. Hands and knees. Now sit back on your heels, Vajrasana, with your toes untucked if you can. If this doesn't work for you, you can come into another seated position or put a block underneath of you if you have one. Crawl your right fingertips over to the right. And take your left arm up and over to the right. Move your right shoulder down and away from your ear. And maybe gaze up. Anchor down through your left sitting bone. And then swing your left arm forward around in front of you and over to the right. And take and over to the left and take your right arm up and over to the left. Left shoulder down and away from you. And we'll go the other way, swing that arm in front, swoop it all around, and we're back into our side bend to the right. And swing the arm in front, side bend to the left. And then bring both arms out in front of you and come up onto your hands and knees for tabletop. Your knees are separated a couple inches apart. Drop your belly, lift your chest for cow pose. Let's take a moment here so your tailbone is tilted forward. If your shoulders are back, your head goes back. Engage your upper back a lot so you can feel those muscles. You can feel the muscles pulling towards each other on the spine even more. Now let's slowly transition to the opposite round and curl for cat and we'll take a couple breaths here as you press away from the ground your upper back domes your lower back rounds also your tailbone tucks under and come back into a neutral spine tuck your toes come up onto your fingertips and walk your hands back lift your knees up off of the ground and bring your 
forehead towards your knees and curl into a little ball. Set your knees down on the ground and sit upright as if you were prepping for camel pose. Reach your arms up, grab onto your elbows, and take a back bend here. It's kind of like we're doing a little camel. Lift up and back bend from the upper back. It's not going to be a huge bend. Just opening up the front body, maybe a little smile. Now reach the arms back up, take your arms out wide, and then take the arms behind you. We'll take circles going back. So go forward, up, and back. One more time. Good. Come back into tabletop, hands and knees. Step your right foot outside of your right hand. Slide your back leg as far back as you can. Come up onto your fingertips. Take an inhale and exhale, straighten out your right leg. Inhale, shift forward back into lizard. Exhale, shift back into half splits. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, shift back, stay here in half splits. It's a wide leg half split. And you might, well, let's all pull the chest forward and up. So you have a nice kind of flat back as you draw the right hip back. And if you can maintain the flat back and crawl your fingertips forward, and you're welcome to do that. Wherever you are, if you want to drop your head, you can. And let those neck muscles relax. Just be fully absorbed in this moment, in this sensation. A lot of sensations happening. We're absorbed in pure awareness of our bodies, of our minds. Bring your hands back under your shoulders. Bend your knee into low lizard lunge and plant your hands down. Let your right knee open up to the right a little bit more and put your right hand on the inner right thigh. And you can stay there or you can bend the back knee and grab onto the foot. Regardless, you're turning and twisting your chest to the right. So can you draw your right shoulder back and down, your left shoulder back and down, so the shoulder blades are moving towards each other on the spine. And slowly release the hands back down to the ground. Tuck your back toes and bring your back knee in a little bit closer so that you're in setting up for a table and step your right foot back into tabletop. Then step your left foot outside of your left hand, slide your back leg back, untuck the toes, come up onto your fingertips. Inhale, exhale, straighten your left leg, shift back. Inhale, shift forward, open the chest. Exhale, shift back. So just kind of warming up first before we hold. Inhale forward. Exhale, go back to straight leg. Stay here with your legs straight. You're on your fingertips or blocks if you have them. Lengthen the spine, shoulders back, chest moves through your shoulders. And you might want to stay here and continue to flex your feet, your foot, I mean, and your toes. Or walk the hands forward and maybe your head drops down a little more. We're continuously working to tilt the pelvis forward. Let's make our way 
Hands back under the shoulders and bend the knee back into lizard. Plant the hands, roll onto the outer edge of the left foot as the left knee opens to the left a bit more and put your left hand on the inner left thigh. Push the knee away from you or bend the knee, back knee and grab onto the foot with your left hand. and slow down the breath, elongate the breath. We'll release the hands back down to the ground. Tuck your back toes, slide your knee a little closer to your hands, and step back into tabletop. Tuck your toes, keep your toes tucked in upward, uh, downward facing dog, I mean, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Pedal out your legs, shake out your head. And walk your feet up to your hands. Take little steps. And once you get there, grab onto your elbows and rock side to side. Now switch the grip so you're grabbing onto your elbows with the other arm in front. And release your hands down. Slowly stand all the way up. Tadasana Mountain Pose, shoulders back and down. Interlace the hands behind your back. Take your feet a little wider. Roll the shoulders back, open your chest, and fold forward. If this is too much for the shoulders, you can always uh, just bring your arms down or you can hold a strap or towel between your hands. Shift your weight into your toes and continue to let the arms go up and over. Can you even spread and wiggle the toes to make sure that you have the most surface area under your feet, a nice wide base of support. Option to bend your left knee and turn open to the right. Option two, now turn to the other side, bend the right knee, turn to the left, left shoulder opens. And come back to center as you release your hands down to the ground. Bring your feet to hip distance. And take your left leg straight back and up for standing splits. Then take your left foot over to the right side, like probably off of the mat. With the toes on the ground, it's like you're almost in a lunge, but your legs are straight, like a cross, crisscross lunge with straight legs. So your feet aren't like next to each other, but your left leg goes further back and over to the right. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over the right leg and then make any adjustments you need to so that you can feel a stretch on the outer right leg here. You might, you'll, most people will probably be feeling a lot in this stretch. If you want more, you can simply bend your left knee and then re-straighten it a few times. So bend, try to keep your front leg straight and straighten. I know this is kind of an odd move, so if it takes a moment to figure it out, it's okay. Your right leg stays straight. You're bending and sitting back into your left uh, leg. A couple more times or just stay where you are. Good, and then straighten both legs and step your left foot into pyramid pose. So set the heel down onto the ground and lengthen your spine and fold over your right leg. So now the stretch is more in the belly, the kind of the middle hamstring muscle rather than the outer hamstrings and the outer part of the right leg. Walk your hands back behind you if you'd like. Crawl the fingertips back and bring your forehead towards your knee. It's like you're doing cat pose with your spine really rounding.
And walk your hands back out in front of you. Step your feet together. Lift up halfway. Fold forward. And on your inhale, stand up and reach your arms up. Exhale, cactus and back bend. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Lift up halfway. Take your right leg straight back and up for standing splits. Right toes are pointed. Then bring the right toes over to the left side of the mat or off of the mat. Both legs straight. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold over your left leg. You might stay here and work to get the left hip back. Or you might bend your back knee and re-straighten a few times. Find stillness here. And step your right foot over to the right side of the mat for pyramid pose. Toes turn out to the right. Lengthen the spine and fold as you walk your hands back behind you. Forehead towards your knee. If it's too much, keep your hands out in front of you. Just a couple breaths. And bring your hands back out in front of you and step your feet together. Lift up halfway. Fold forward. Inhale, stand. Reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, cactus your arms. Back bend. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Arms down by your sides. Good. Reach the arms up again. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left leg all the way back into low lunge. Set your back knee down onto the ground. Untuck your back toes. Slide your right hand over to the right. It might just be like a handprint or so. Reach your left arm up and over to the right. You're taking a side bend. If it's too much to have the hand down, put it on your thigh instead and side bend to the right. Or put your right hand on a block. And bring both hands back down to the ground. Tuck your back, or keep your back toes untucked so you have the toenail side of the foot on the ground. Fingertips on the ground, can you lift your back knee up off the ground? With the toes untucked. Then lower the back knee down. Straighten out your right leg. Half splits, you'll probably slide your right foot forward a little bit. Or also known as half monkey pose. Flex your right foot. And you might crawl your fingers forward and fold. Or if you feel ready and you want to go into a full splits, you might slide the right leg out in front of you. And make sure that you keep your back toes tucked and a slight bend in the right knee unless your leg is all the way on the ground. But don't um, force into full splits. Be very careful as you're going there. And if that's not part of your practice, Half splits is perfect. And we'll make our way back through low lunge. Lift the back knee and step to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Again, half lift and step your right leg all the way back. Low lunge. Set your back knee down and untuck your back toes. Slide your left hand to the left, reach your right arm up and over to the left, or any of the other variations. Whatever you did on the other side, try to emulate that. Reconnect with your breath. Continue to draw your left hip back so that your chest and hips are kind of squared forward. 
and then bring your right hand to the ground and we'll um, un keep the back toes untucked and lift your back knee up. Press the toenail side of your foot into the ground for three, two, one, set your knee down and straighten out your left leg. Slide your heel forward, flex the foot, lengthen, and either walk your hands down and fold or make your way into full Hanumanasana, full splits. Again, back toes tucked because that, that creates an internal rotation of your right hip so that you're not externally rotating it too much. Breathe. And start to make your way back to low lunge. Lift the back knee and this time step back to down dog. Nice. Set your knees down on the ground. Tabletop. Extend your right leg straight back. Extend your left arm forward. Bend your right knee. Point the toes up and lift your leg up, up, up. Reach your left arm back. Grab onto your foot. foot. Kick your foot into your hand. And lift up high. Good, we extend your right leg, reach your left arm forward, place your left hand down and cross your right knee behind your left knee and take your legs wide, setting up for Gomukhasana, cow face. Then walk back and sit back between your heels. So your legs are crossed on top of each other. Your left leg is crossed on top of your right. Now this pose doesn't work for everyone's hip structure and you can't change the structure of your bones, so don't worry about it. If it doesn't work for you, you can do Sukhasana with your legs crossed like this or double pigeon if that feels good for you. Okay, then let's do an arm, add in some arms so we can get some more shoulder work. So with your left leg on top, then you're going to take your right arm up. Now I'm not mirroring you, so make sure you do your right arm. Put your right hand behind you, your head. Take your left arm out wide internally rotate your left arm as much as you can then bring the arm behind you and see if you can bring your hands towards each other they don't need to clasp if they do great maybe you're just holding onto your shirt find your center couple deep breaths Unwind the arms, walk your hands out in front of you and fold or stay upright if that feels better for you. Walk your hands back up. We'll make our way back into tabletop. So roll forward, uncross your legs. Take your left leg straight back behind you. Reach your right arm forward. Bend your left knee. Lift up and kick up first. Then reach your right arm back. Grab onto your foot and kick up. We extend your arm and leg, set your right foot down, cross your left leg over your right leg, and sit back between your heels. Gomukhasana, right leg on top. Or whatever variation you did before. And then when you're ready, reach your left arm up, your left arm. Bring your hand to the back of your neck, 
reach your right arm out wide. Internally rotate the arm all the way so the thumb faces down. Then reach the arm back behind. Clasp hands or touch fingertips or grab your shirt. Or just let your arms, hands be where they are. Sit tall. Breathe deep. And you be fully absorbed in this moment. Fully present. What does it feel like to be you right now? Gently unwind your arms. Walk your hands out in front of you. Let your head drop down. And start to walk your hands back up. Make your way back into tabletop and uncross your legs. Walk your hands out in front of you for puppy pose. Bring your palms together. Bend your elbows so the thumbs come to the back of the head for prayer. And walk your elbows forward. Let your chest drop between your shoulders. At the same time, knit your ribs in. Breathe into the upper back and into the lats. And gently release the hands down. Make your way back into tabletop, and we'll come into a seat. Take your right leg out to the right and bring your left foot inside of your right thigh. We're gonna do Parvrita Janu Shirshasana. So flex your right foot, take your right forearm, bring it inside of your inner right leg, take your left arm up and over your ear towards your foot. And maybe some of you might grab the foot, but that's not the goal. If you do grab the foot, try to open up again from the chest so that the chest faces upwards. This pose helps expand our capacity to breathe because we create space and length along the ribs, the side body. Slowly start to rise back up. Switch your legs. Flex your foot. It's kind of a wider angle. Turn and face the left, then bring your, sorry, turn and face your right. <laughs> now I'm mirroring you. And bring your left forearm down inside of your left leg. Reach your right arm up and over your ear. One more breath. Slowly rise up. Good. Take your legs straight out in front of you, all the way to the front edge of the mat. We'll make our way down onto our backs. Slowly lower down and then bring your knees into your chest and rock side to side. Then bring your feet to the ground as wide as the mat and drop your knees to the right side with your feet still as wide as the mat. An option to put your right foot on top of your left knee and then take your arms overhead and grab onto your elbows. And if the foot on the knee is too much for your low back or your knee, just keep your foot, feet separated, feet and knees apart from each other. We'll 
with every exhale, where can you relax a little bit more? Where can you let go of tension? Relax your throat. Relax your eyelids. And take your foot off of your knee if you have it there. Bring your knees up and over to the left side. And put your left foot on top of your right knee. Take your foot off of your knee, bring your knees up and extend your legs long and arms down by your, your sides for Shavasana. Slide your shoulders towards each other. Let your legs take up space and splay out wherever they naturally go. And follow the breath. Where does the breath begin? And where does it end? And what happens in the moments in between the inhale and the exhale? At the end of the exhale, is there a space? Even for a couple seconds, a short, small space there before you inhale. And as we're nearing the end of practice, let yourself, yourself remain fully absorbed. Fully absorbed in this exquisite moment of awareness, this blip in time, where we're not planning, we're not worrying, we're not trying to control. Let the moment unfold. With each breath, let's count down from five to zero. Take an inhale. Exhale. That's five on your own. Count down all the way to zero. And every time you exhale, you're relaxing more and more.
and the next exhale imagine you are dissolving into the earth like sand particles trickling into the earth there's a sense of weightlessness For the next couple moments, rest in silence. Begin to reawaken. Invite movement into your fingers and toes. Bend your elbows and place your hands on your belly. One hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Let's invite in the Ho'oponopono mantra, Hawaiian mantra. Thank you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. I love you. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Slowly bend your knees one at a time. Roll over to one side. Press up into a seat. Bring your palms together at your heart. Thank you so much for practicing. If you enjoyed the class, I'd love to hear from you, so let me know in the comments down below. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button so we can continue practicing, moving, and breathing together. Let's bow in gratitude for this practice. <laughs>